Hey gang, it's Dwayne from ITMasterKey.com and today we're going to talk about what exactly is the A-plus exam. The A-plus exam is an exam offered through CompTIA. The exam is broken down into two parts, the 901 and the 902. So what exactly is on the 901 portion? The 901 portion consists of four main objectives. Hardware, networking, mobile devices, and hardware troubleshooting. But the overarching theme of 901 is hardware troubleshooting. So 901 consists of a lot of hardware troubleshooting scenarios. So something is broke, how did it get broke? How do you fix it? How do you prevent it from getting broken again? So how many questions are on the 901 exam? So the 901 exam has a maximum of 90 questions. Most students don't get 90 questions, maybe right around 75 to 80 questions. The duration of the test is 90 minutes. You have to get a passing score of 675 out of a scale of 900. So remember, we said there's a 901 and a 902 portion. So what's on the 902? So the 902 consists of four main objectives. Operating systems, troubleshooting operating systems, operational procedures, and software. For the 902, the overarching theme is software troubleshooting. Something is wrong with the operating system, with the applications, what went wrong, how to prevent it from going wrong again. Just as with the 901, you'll get a maximum of 90 questions on this test with a duration of 90 minutes. Only difference is you have to get a 700 out of 900 on the 902. So it's a little bit higher score on the 902 as opposed to the 901. Only once you pass the 901 and the 902 will you actually obtain the a certification. Now, let's say that you fall short on the 901. Can you take the 902? You can. You don't have to take the 901 and pass it in tech 902. You can go from 902 back to 901 if you want to, but just understand that you have to get both certifications to actually be A plus certified. Is there any training required to take the exam? There are no prerequisites and there's no training required to take the A plus exam, but it's highly, 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 highly recommended if you actually want to pass the test to have at least six to 12 months of training. Also, to drive that point home, CompTIA, the creators of the exam, also recommend that you have six to 12 months of study or on the job training. So what kind of job can you expect to get once you're A-plus certified? The A-plus certification is an entry-level certification. So the types of jobs you can expect to get are support specialists, field technician, desktop support, entry-level positions. And according to CompTIA, these are the salary ranges of those positions. So, is the A-plus certification worth having? Short story shorter, yes, of course. In our field, in the IT field, it's a prerequisite, a requirement for most jobs to have your A-plus certification. Unless, of course, you have a higher certification already. The A-plus exam gives you a great foundation and a great starting point to break into the IT field. As always, gang, it was great to see you. This is Dwayne from ITMasterKey.com, and I'll see you in class.